Man, you come right out of a comic book. Pulp to Pixel Media. Exploring the media multiverse of geek culture. He meddled in things Hello, I'm Gotham Sharan, creator of the science fantasy comic strip, The Last Earth. Currently, we're running weekly on my Instagram. Uh, you can see the show notes at, and the information at the end of the episode to find out more. All right, so today I've got another one of our my process and inspiration videos where I'm looking at and inking the work of other artists. And um, and this one in particular, I actually have a special stick to stay to the end, but I have an original piece as well uh, for this. Now, I wanted to take a look at the character of Wolverine, one of my favorite characters from the 80s. So I wanted to go back to the original. So here you can see I'm working on um, with two pieces. Uh, John Romita's original sketch for the design of the costume and then a, a pencil sketch piece by Herb Trimpey that I found. Now, Herb Trimpey, of course, was the um, was the uh, art, artist on the Hulk 181, the first appearance of Wolverine. So he really kind of set the first official visuals for the character down. And so I was working with that costume, kind of a hybrid of the two. I really like, actually, I think this may have been a misinterpretation of mine, but like, I like on the John Romita piece, the back of the Wolverine is like dark. And I kind of imagine that it was like the whole piece was dark. And so you'll see it in the piece that I draw later, what's there. So here we go. Um, and uh, kind of polishing up my signature too. At the bottom there. But uh, uh, you'll notice that I it's not a pure white background. I do about a 10 to 20% yellow screen over the white background to kind of give it that sort of yellow paper look and then so white will then stick out more things that are white will stick out more as you'll see with the coloring as it's about to pop in here but yeah so this was a, my first kind of look at and attempt at this this was really fun actually um you will see though that i did add to this something was the hair the hair was not part of the original sketches um but i just you know I, I can't have Wolverine without Harry, so <laughs> I had to put it in. Uh, I am actually pretty happy with the color layout here. All right, so in this Wolverine versus, this is my second one is then Dave Cockrum, who will get the pretty much the real official first look. Um, and so here I have him fighting Wolverine, fighting one of his most hated enemies of this era, Cyclops. <laughs> yeah, he and Cyclops, he was he totally hated Cyclops. And he was always after Cyclops' girlfriend. So um, one of my least favorite parts about Wolverine <laughs> is when he when he goes after people, other people's girlfriends. Uh, but uh, I love Dave Cockrum's stuff. I, I mostly read it through some Legion of Superhero stuff and then some, um, a little bit of this... Uh, um, but mainly through classic X-Men. And so, and then maybe the Futurians. Uh, so this was, you know, uh, my take and look at that and uh, trying to do a little nice, cool effect um, and playing around with some of the color here as well. Uh, but here you go. Now, for my original piece, so Dave Cockrum's, so there's a connection between this and the Legion of Superheroes, a couple of connections. First off, you know, first off, here's the first in-panel image of Wolverine. So I'm kind of working with that for my version that I drew here. Uh, I did the pencils, you know, uh, analog in, in the real world and then digitally are inking it. But um, I've also included the first costume of Timberwolf. Now, Timberwolf is a Legion of Superheroes member, shows up in, uh, I want to say, Adventures of Superboy 27. I, you know, I have to look it up again, but um, I'm not totally familiar. I know the character from other iterations, but uh, one of the things I reason I picked him was uh, Dave Cockrum did do a lot of his redesign in the 70s before he went to X-Men. And um, one of the things he did in the redesign was he changed his hair. Now, I'm working with the original costume because I wanted to work with the first costumes character. Very in 
into right now drawing superheroes in their first costumes, like for, even from the golden age and stuff, but in my version. But here you can see what I'm talking about. This is the Dave Cockrum connection between Timberwolf and Wolverine, aside from them both having very like lupine power sets and, you know, kind of gruff brawlers. We see there's that like lupine hair swoop backs and the, the mutton chops. Um, Dave Cockrum introduced that in his redesign of uh, Timberwolf in the 70s. And then when he goes over to X-Men, um, when he first drew Wolverine without his, his, his mask on, he chose a design that looks almost identical to it, uh, as if they are connected in this. So here we decided to uh, pit these two against each other in their classic costumes. With, um, if for those of you paying attention, you are friends of, or, or fans of the Legion of Superheroes, you'll also notice it did do um, his uh, uh, Timberwolf's text balloon in Interlac, the future language of the Legion of Superheroes. All right, hope you enjoy. Thanks again for joining me on my art process journey as I create my comic strip, The Last Earth. You can follow me on the web at www.pulptopixel.com and on Instagram and Twitter at pulp to pixel See the show description for links to my link tree, my merch store, and donation site. See you next time when we return to the distant future of The Last Earth.